Welcome back, folks. I already feel like I'm calm and relaxed because of our next guest. Just in her very presence. Don't you feel that, John? I do. We have Gwendolyn Hall in the house. <laughs> Hello, Gwendolyn. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You make me feel so lovely and calm. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So Gwendolyn is the owner of the Twisted Branch Tea Bazaar, which has, and she's bought this wonderful mm. platter of food for us to taste, and all of these lovely teas. Mm. And I think that we should start with you. Something about you, though. All right. Something that really struck me about you is that you've had a bit of a travel bug. Mm -hmm. And did that come from being a military, can I say, like, were you an army brat? Yeah, or a navy brat. Navy yeah. brat? Do they use brat for navy, too? Yeah. <laughs> you traveled around quite a bit with your family, right? Yeah, starting probably at about two months. Seriously, yeah. that young? Mm -hmm. Now, you see, I would like that, but was that difficult, going from place to place? Uh, yes, uh -huh. having to readjust to new environments and new people and losing friends and making new friends. Uh, it definitely it, uh, affected a lot about who I am today. So. But it made you a bit of a gypsy, which mm -hmm. led you to... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Traveling the world. Yeah, it it uh, it got me really uh, practiced at packing a bag <laughs> and remembering my toothbrush. Uh, <laughs> and since I didn't really have a hometown to begin with, uh, it also uh, put me in a place of being able to choose my hometown eventually. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah I like that. Mm -hmm. I I feel like I'm connected to Gwendolyn in that in that sense. Mm -hmm. I was a bit of a gypsy, but not as much as you. So tell us about some of your world travels, because you, when you were traveling, you studied yoga, mm -hmm. right? And you were at a lot of holistic centers and massage and mm -hmm. all of that. Was that the reason why you traveled the world, or was that something that happened on your travels? Uh, it was actually the, um, uh, the thing that, for me, defended the, the the traveling in the first place, like why is it I'm I'm going and and what is my purpose? Um, because I I find it's just more integrative to actually have uh, something that you're learning in a country that you're going to, in in order to really experience it. Mm. Uh, and I um, have an aunt that lives in India, and that's where I had the connection to meet a yoga instructor there. And um, in Thailand, I went there to study Thai massage. Oh, wow. So you um, step on people's backs? I can do that, yeah. <laughs> there you go, John. What are you doing right after the show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might have a job. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> um, Where else did your travels take you? Uh, uh, one of the surprise things was uh, I was connected with a ship captain who was sailing around Vanuatu, which is down near Fiji, Australia yes, area. I've heard that recently, actually. Um, I don't know why. So that was probably one of the more exotic uh, experiences I had, um, living on a boat and wow. hanging with the natives, um, playing volleyball, doing a lot of snorkeling. Wow. Uh, sailing. Yeah. You, did you learn how to sail out there? Or were you already I already a knew how to sail. Really? Yeah. You mm -hmm. grew up sailing? Navy? A bit, yeah. Navy, yeah. I suppose that mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Duh. Did you ever make it to Bermuda by any chance? Not yet. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We had a base there in Bermuda, an American base. Uh -huh. So I just wondered, because I meet a lot of brats. Yeah. <laughs> I hate calling you that. I meet a lot well, of brats. I did my best to live up to that as a child. Oh, so. yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you're so far removed from bratty. <laughs> I can't ever imagine you being a bratty child. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I'm trying to balance it out. Yeah. <laughs> so you actually studied food and beverage, or mm -hmm. hotel? Ma was it hotel management? Hotel, or? restaurant, and institutional management. But I never wanted to manage anything called an institution. Right. Um, that was at Virginia Tech. And so, and so what do you come out of out of that field of study knowing? Uh, a lot about accounting, marketing, and uh, with kind of an introduction to the food part of it. Um, managing human resources mm. it's it's more it's an all-encompassing degree that, that introduces you to all these different aspects of being in a hotel or restaurant and um, trying to guide it I guess yeah what, what, what influenced you to go there I mean did you sort of know that that's what where, where you want I mean, no. it's just it's a very specific <laughs> thing to choose isn't it yeah yes I think I'll go into host, hotel restaurant management uh, I was interested in traveling uh -huh. And I thought this would be a degree that could lead me to being able to live in Japan or something. Uh, so it brings us back to the traveling. Yeah. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. That's mm -hmm. smart. Did you work around the world? No. no. 
No, I ended up just uh, finding a lot of places to go in the United States with that. Um, I was pulled uh, out west and, and found a beautiful culture out there that um, I grooved with. Um, learned Where a lot was that? about vegetarian cooking. Um, Bellingham, Washington, mainly. Wonderful. And then some time in Seattle and then up to Alaska and then eventually back over to Hawaii. That's so cool. Yeah. You're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so envious. I wish I could have done that much mm -hmm. hopping around. But you really were going on a, on a journey, a kind of a life journey that, that ended you up back in Charlottesville or yeah, in um, Charlottesville. Yeah, sometime starting in around 2003, I decided to move to the East Coast, and that was a very roundabout, about five-year-long journey that ended in Charlottesville. Why Charlottesville? Um, I actually had a dream to, that I was going to move here and find balance in Charlottesville. I love that. You're, yes. you're the second guest that had a dream about Charlottesville, yeah. I swear to you. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the dream. Uh, I was thinking about my family and about how to move to an East Coast town that I found very, uh, I guess, similar to my own ideals. And um, at some point, uh, I had this dream where I thought about Charlottesville. And then I woke up thinking, you know, that wasn't, it wasn't even on my map. I was like, upstate New York, Massachusetts, something up there. And then I looked at it on the map, and it was right in between all of my immediate family members. I'm like, that's accessible. And it's right near D.C., which is a really a wonderful city to go up and experience a lot of art and, and uh, plays and music. And, um, but what really clinched in is actually when I really came here, I went to the downtown mall, went to First Fridays, and went out to some of the organic farms around here um, and started meeting people. And that really, it just, it was easy to move here at that point. Lovely. Mm -hmm. We found the same thing. Yeah. It was very easy to move here. Yeah. We love Charlottesville. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so you started working at the Tea Bazaar. Yeah. And you, your dream was to start sort of your own holistic center initially. Mm -hmm. and, and that's sort of what drew you to Charlottesville, right? Yes. And, but on, on arriving, upon arriving, you started working at the Tea Bazaar, mm -hmm. and then tell us what happened, because now you are the owner of Tea Bazaar. Yeah, that was a big surprise for me. Amazing. I had no intention of doing something <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, Mateus saw my resume that I had written up, and he's like, hotel restaurant management, you know, are you interested in buying the tea? <laughs> 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 um, but it was more like, you know, I'm, I'm looking to sell this place to the right person. And I, I think after meeting me, he saw that, that I could possibly bring this, uh, I don't know, restaurant under my guidance or under my wing or at least understand the intention of it and continue the, the process of what the tea house is in this community. What exactly is that? Um, I see it as a space where people can uh, mm, feel very comfortable and open-minded uh, and comforted. Mm. It's, uh, it's always been intentioned as a place that people can come and feel nurtured. Uh, and I think a lot of people come there and feel uh, like they can do more creative work. Um, and it's also, it's an exotic location that, that folks, when you have out-of-town guests, it's, it's a great place to bring, like, friends from New York. Yeah. Usually find it pretty impressive. So that says to me that it's been set up and, and runs really... Um, I don't know, in a manner that, that um, shows how wide our, our culture is here in Charlottesville. That's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. So before you even get in, we even get into the teas and the food, mm -hmm. can we talk about the hookahs? <laughs> <laughs> we we mm. were hoping that you'd bring one. <laughs> oh, I... Mm. No. <laughs> They're kind of dangerous in the car, you know, if you yeah, get pulled no. over, it's, uh, <laughs> it's hard to explain. Um, but it's, it's a water pipe with Turkish tobacco in it, and we have all these different flavors. Um, and a lot of people come to the tea house specifically to smoke it. Uh, we have a, a room in the back that's designated for hookah smoking, or you can hang out on the porch in fairer weather, I guess. Um, but it's, it's something I think that was developed in Middle Eastern countries for just relaxing and pleasure and sitting around and chatting kind of like sitting around a pot of tea. Yeah. So, so are you... That's a good are, segue. Is that... 
yours as well? I mean, do you purchase the, the tobaccos and everything? I purchase the tobaccos and the hookahs, and um, we set them up for people to use at the tea house. So do you have vendors that come to you with tobaccos? I mean, No. Uh, people... Tobacco vendors. Well, there are people that come and uh, try to get us to purchase their product sometimes. Like, hey, you should call me. I want to be your tobacco broker. <laughs> but we already have a, a few that, that we purchase from. and. I, ha 